time. And not just any old slop. These hogs live the high life on Jeremy Gross's farm. I'll, I'll feed them daily. I, I add that, that mix to it daily. That mix includes plenty of leafy greens. It's almost like an alfalfa-fed cow or alfalfa-fed pig. But no alfalfa here. Instead, this is marijuana. Everybody's like, well, I guess it's legal now. Go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and try it. And marijuana became legalized. Uh, absolutely, you know, it's um, it's a good opportunity to help people get rid of their their waste. Gross and butcher William von Schneidau cooked up the idea to use the byproduct from a medical marijuana dispensary. We just wanted you to try it. At Seattle's Pike Place Market, von Schneidau's shop sells these pot pigs at a premium price. It's got a kick to it. it yeah. Good. Tastes like good pork chop. Whether it's gimmick or green farming, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which regulates feed additives, hasn't signed off on the cannabis concoction being fed to the pigs. So if you feel a little heady, it could be the pot-bellied pigs. Jeannie Ohm, Associated Press.